Thank you very much. Distinguished Mr. Zhang Shanghai, uh, Mr. Liu Dongshan, dear Bruno, I am deeply honored to be speaking at this side event, the first opportunity to update a treaty that has called for the establishment of a global coastal forum on progress in setting up the, conse the consequent wor World Coastal Forum. For those of you who don't know, BirdLife International is a global family of nearly 120 national independent conservation organizations mobilizing over 9 million people of, in all corners of the world. We use birds as the best ambassadors for nature. Our mission is to conserve birds, their habitats, and global biodiversity, working with people towards a more sustainable future. A top priority for our partnership is to conserve migratory water birds that depend on coastal wetlands because these are one of the three most threatened groups of migratory birds. It has therefore been a privilege to work with China's Ministry of Natural Resources, the National Forestry and Grasslands Administration and the Yangcheng government to co-coordinate alongside with the Eco Foundation Global the establishment of the World Coastal Forum. BirdLife has been at the heart of the World Coastal Forum process since it was conceived in the margins of the 2012 CBD COP in Hyderabad, India. During a conversation with senior staff of the Secretariats of the CBD, Ramsar, and the Society for Ecological Restoration. Initially, it was going to be a global initiative on coastal wetland restoration known as Caring for Coasts. Following a decision in the, of the Pyeongchang uh, CBD COP in 2014, it was championed by the government of Canada who commissioned the CBD secretariat to run a preparatory process. They subcontracted us, BirdLife, to do this and Ramsar provided a small secretariat for the international steering group. After staff changes in the CBD and the Ramsar secretariats and the government of Canada, the baton was passed on to the Philippines who supported by BirdLife and among others in response to caring for coast consultation via resolution at the CMS COP in 2017, <coughs> broadened the scope to cover protection and management as well as restoration or, and all coastal ecosystems as well as wetlands. They also championed complementary resolutions through the Ramsar COP and the CBD COPs the following year. With the World Heritage listing of a key part of China's Yellow Sea coast in 2019, China's Ministry of Natural Resources and the Jiangsu government picked up the, bat the baton from the Philippines. One of BirdLife's key global programs is working on flyways, and coastal wetland conservation is one of the four priorities of this program. Coastal wetlands are a top priority for most of our 83 partners in coastal nations. This is why we have invested so much energy and so much effort over the last 10 years to see the World Coastal Forum become a reality. Just as migratory birds ecologically connect sites and ecosystems spanning the planet, the local to global structure that BirdLife has lends it itself particularly well to a joint up approach, fostering conservation of key populations through conservation of all key sites, like a string of pearls along the length of the flyway. With flyways being such a priority for our strategy, we've been working very hard with the Asian Development Bank and the East Asian Australasian Flyway Partnership on the design of a transformational initiative to protect, manage and restore between 50 and 100 wetlands in the East Asian Australasian Flyway, the most threatened flyway of the world. We are deeply grateful to the support and the leadership of the Asian Development Bank in the design and in the in initial implementation of this blended finance initiative that will mobilize between two and five billion US dollars over the next 20 years. This initiative will also help deliver important ecosystem services at this size that will help countries meet their climate goals, their biodiversity co goals, secure coastal resilience and support local livelihoods and development. We are delighted that the Asian Development Bank has been involved in the establishment process of the World Coastal Forum since it, it kicked off in, in earnest last autumn. The support of the Asian Development Bank will scale up and showcase the work that they invest in al along the East Asian Australasian Flyway and equally help funnel evidence-based world-class guidance of what works from the global level to the sites, so maximizing the efficiency and effectiveness of the ADB investments in, in conserving coastal wetlands and demonstrating that blending finance can be part of the solution. 
And now, thanks to that initiative, we are in discussions with other development banks, especially in the Americas, to establish a similar initiative there with the South American Development Bank. Again, the World Coastal Forum will be perfectly placed to help foster efficient exchange of expertise, expertise between flyways. We are very excited about the World Coastal Forum, not only because of the transformative benefit we are confident it will bring to coastal ecosystems and the biodiversity and people who depend on them, but particularly, and I will stress something that Bruno said already, because we see it as a pilot for facilitating synergistic multi-stakeholder delivery of other thematic modules under the soon to be agreed, hopefully, global biodiversity framework in Montreal. These mechanisms are vital if we are not again to find 10 years down the line that we have failed to meet the targets we, see, we set ourselves. And we can only make it happen if we work together. We were delighted this morning by the support given by China, the EU, the UK and Cambodia for the addition of the text on the World Coastal Forum this morning on, this, on the Synergies draft resolution in document 18.8. For now, Berla pledges to continue as a co-coordinator of the World Coastal Forum Establishment Group alongside Eco Foundation Global to make sure that it can fully fledge uh, this vital initiative. We urge all coastal parties and other stakeholders to come on board with this process to make the World Coastal Forum into a platform you need to help deliver on your coastal ecosystems conservation commitments. Thank you very much. <laughs>